In Brandon Lewis, party chairman and minister without portfolio Brandon Lewis's rise to party chairman is an example of Theresa May rewarding loyalty. The 46-year-old was instrumental in her leadership campaign, rallying support from conservative MPs behind the scenes. Since then, he has served in her old batch at the Home Office, gaining a promotion to Immigration Minister attending cabinet after last year's election. Despite having supported the Remain campaign at the EU referendum, Lewis has embraced the drive to create a new immigration system and spearheaded the proposed return to Navy Blue passports after Brexit. He was also well regarded by the party under David Cameron, and tipped for promotion before the 2015 election, although the opposition points to his responsibility for the troubled policy areas of housing and fire safety during the coalition years. Colleagues are likely to appreciate Lewis's campaigning experience, as he won a marginal seat in the coastal area of Great Yarmouth from Labour in 2010. In the next two elections, he built up his majority and saw off a threat from UKIP. However, there may be skepticism about whether he is the right man to overhaul the party's social media operation. His own efforts have been mocked, including a video about why Great Yarmouth is great that featured him making thumbs up signs in front of local landmarks. The former commercial law barrister, who was educated at a private school in North London and Buckingham University, is liked by colleagues for his chirpy demeanor and air of normality. He is married with two children, and lists his interests as triathlons, marathons, reading, his dogs and occasionally going to the cinema. Rowena Mason out Patrick McLaughlin the Conservative Party chairman, whose cabinet seat comes via an official government role as Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster, McLaughlin Lynn's departure has been seen as inevitable after the disastrous general election campaign followed by a misfiring party conference. McLaughlin was blamed, allies say unfairly, for overseeing security lapses such as a prankster gaining access to the conference hall in Manchester and handing Theresa May a fake P45 as she made her leader's speech. He will nonetheless be one of the less noted cabinet departures, managing to keep a low public profile despite having been in Parliament for more than 30 years, and on the front bench for almost as long. McLaughlin's first junior ministerial post was given to him by Margaret Thatcher in 1989. However, the 60-year-old is by no means a traditional conservative grandee. After attending a state school in Staffordshire and the local agricultural college, McLaughlin worked as a farm laborer and miner, also becoming a local councillor and then, aged just 28, succeeding Matthew Paris as MP for West Derbyshire, now known as Derbyshire Dales, when Paris quit politics for journalism prompting a by-election. A supporter of Remain 